God, therefore, the hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Good evening to all of you. My friends, today is Friday. We offer ourselves to the most sacred heart of Jesus. May the divine mercy of the Lord Jesus come upon us and our families and all those who are listening to us. <coughs> May the Lord watch over and protect each one of our families. May sinfulness and sicknesses be removed in the name of Jesus. All the fears be gone that Australia be saved in the mighty name of Jesus. We place ourselves, those who are sick and those who are healthy, especially we pray for all the health workers, that while they are treating this virus, may the Lord protect them. May God's mighty mercy be upon them. Coming together as God's family, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, and my fellows, and my words, and what I've done, what I've failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and the sisters, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, the heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God and Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You answer Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who gave us the power of silence the human race, so dispose our minds, we pray, that what we celebrate by professing the faith, we may express in deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, His Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the first reading. A reading from the hands of the apostles, chapter 4, 1 to 12. While Peter and John were talking to the people, the priest came up to him, accompanied by the captain of the temple and the Sadducees. They were extremely annoyed at their teaching, the people of the people, the doctrine of the resurrection from the dead, proclaiming the resurrection of Jesus. They arrested them, but as it was already late, they held them until the next day. But many of those who had listened to their message became believers. The total number of whom had now risen to something like 5,000. The next day, the rulers, the leaders, and the scribes had meeting in Jerusalem with Annas the high priest, Caiaphas, Jonathan, Alexander, and all the members of the high priestly family. They made the prisoners stand in the middle and began to interrogate them. By what power and by whose name have you men done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, addressed them, rulers of the people and elders, if you are questioning us today about 
an act of kindness to a cripple, and asking us how he was healed, then I am glad to tell you all, and would indeed be glad to tell the whole people of Israel, that it was by the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, the one you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. By his name, and by no other name, that this man is able to stand up perfectly healthy here in your presence today. This is a song rejected by you, the builders, but which has proved to be the case song. For of all the names in the world given to men, this is the only one which we can be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response. Hallelujah. Give thanks to the Lord for He is good, for His love has no end. Let the sons of Israel say, His love has no end. Let those who fear the Lord say, His love has no end. Hallelujah. The work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. Hallelujah. O Lord, grant us salvation, grant success. Blessed in the name of the Lord is he who comes. We bless you from the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. The sequence. In time, that's where the life contended, come back strangely ended. Life's own champion slain and lives to reign. Tell us, Mary, say what thou didst see upon the way. The tomb of the living did enclose. I saw Christ's glory as he rose. The angels there are testing, shrouded with great clothes resting. Christ, my heart was risen. He goes before you in the Galilee. That Christ is truly risen from the dead, we know. Victorious King, thy mercy show. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Rise and be glad. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Almighty God, cleanse my heart and lips that I may worthily proclaim the gospel in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus showed himself again to the disciples. It was by the sea of Tiberias, and it happened like this. Simon Peter, Thomas called the twin Nathaniel from Cana and Galilee. The sons of Zebedee and two more of his disciples were together. Simon Peter said, I'm going fishing. They replied. It was light by now, and there stood Jesus on the shore. Though the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus, Jesus called them out. Have you caught anything, friends? And when they answered, no, he said, throw the net out to the starboard, and you will find something. So they dropped the net, and there were so many fish that could not hold in it. The disciple of Jesus loved said to Peter, it is the Lord. At these words, it is the Lord Simon Peter, who had practically nothing on, wrapped his cloak around him and jumped into the water. The other disciples came on in the boat, towing the net and the fish. They were only about a hundred yards from the land. As soon as they came ashore, they saw that there was some bread there, and a chap called fire with the fish cooking on it. Jesus said, bring some of the fish you have just caught. Simon Peter went abroad and dragged the net to the shore, full of big fish, 153 of them. And in spite of there being so many, the net was not broken. Jesus said to them, Come and have breakfast. None of the disciples was bold enough to ask, Who are you? They knew quite well it was the Lord. Jesus then stepped forward, took the bread and gave it to them. And the same with the fish. This was the third time that Jesus showed himself to the disciples after rising from the dead. 
the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated, my friends. After the resurrection of Jesus, people are not able to recognize him. At the first instance, Mary of Magdala went to the tomb and Jesus behind her called her the name Mary. She didn't recognize. She thought he be the gardener asking the gardener if you have kept taken away my Lord, please let me look at him. If you have taken away because I'm missing him. And today's reading tells to us again that they did not recognize it was the Lord. Friends, come here, throw the net into the sea. They didn't recognize. My dear friends, very often we will not recognize the Jesus in our lives. He may come in different shapes and forms. She may, he may come in different persons. He may come in the form of a little word of scripture. He may come to us with an incident that is happening outside. He may also come to us with a disaster that is taking place in the world. The world will find a difficulty in recognizing him. Had not our hearts burned within us as he talked to us the scriptures Throughout, the Imam's disciples said, Had not our hearts burned within us as we walked with him, he explained to us the scriptures, but still we couldn't recognize him. When are we going to recognize him? When we had daily masses, In the absence of the Holy Mass, when there is a longing for the Lord, still we will find it difficult to recognize Him. In all the tabernacles of the world, He sits, longs for us, but we won't recognize. In all the pastoral candles where He shines out as the pastor, the lamp for us, we will not recognize him. In the sacrament of confession, in the sacrament of reconciliation, when he is ready to forgive us with the sacrament, we won't recognize him. We don't recognize him at all. My dear friends, at this very moment, Think about the wonderful opportunities God has given to us and those times where we have not recognized and the wonderful, the wonderful opportunities that God will continue to give us and then still continue to think about how can we recognize Jesus in our midst. Only in the name of Jesus we will be saved. There is no other salvation Acts 4.10. There is no other salvation other than in Jesus. Lord Jesus, we ask you powerfully to come up and strengthen our faith. Lord Jesus, we ask you to remove away the spiritual blindness within us, that we will be able to recognize you in word and deed. In word, the scripture and in the sacrament. Lord Jesus, I offer this Mass for our Holy Father, for Francis, strengthen him in this moment. All the cardinals and all the bishops and all the priests. 
and all the lay ladies and all our faithful and be within them, be within them a big crisis is going on but still, O oh Lord, your power, your strength, your confidence give us. We pray for all our parishioners of God. Please protect them. And all those who come to see you, protect them. And our children's life is at, a, at a stake. Children are studying from home. Lord, let them not be distracted. May they continue to study. May all the people who are watching the Holy Mass, may they not be distracted. And through your power, let them never see God in their life. May they, not, may they not believe in a God who is dead, but may they believe in the resurrection of Jesus, that there will be a resurrection for you and for me and for them. Mother Mary, Mother Jesus, and our mother, watch over us. And especially those families who want to offer their lives to you. Give them eternal love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The offer tree.
found of all holiness. May holiness of these gifts be praised by setting down his spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke the bread, gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered into the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and bring from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin, and do this in memory of me. My dear friends, we are going to receive 
the communion, and especially the spiritual communion. Let us pause for a moment. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, commonly, spiritually, into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. I thank you, Jesus, my Lord and Savior. Make let Mary pray for me, protect me under your mantle. Amen. Behold, this is Jesus Christ. Behold, the Lamb of God, broken for us. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should end under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of great Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Amen. Keep safe, Lord, we pray. Those whom you have saved by your kindness, the redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah.
mightily acclaimed you, descendants in the hour of battle. We ask that God against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him humbly, we pray, and do thou, Prince of the heavenly host. By the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander throughout the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. My dear friends, thank you so much for uh, joining me. Whenever you get free time, please continue to implore the mercy of God by praying the divine mercy again and again and again. Our COVID-19 is not over. The strength of it will come soon. Please pray for protection. Implore the mercy of God every day for you and for your family. And continue to pray for our church. May the Lord watch over and look after us. Um, tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock we shall be having the Mass. And uh, Sunday at 10 o'clock we shall not be having the Mass. But instead of that, we will be having the Mass at 3 p.m. Sunday is the Feast of the Divine Mercy. Most of the people who come for the Divine Mercy, they would like to have the confession. But unfortunately, we can't have the confession. But during the Divine Mercy, we will ask the Lord to forgive each and every one of us. A kind of um, penitence will be, will be made, a kind of act of contrition and penitence will be made during the um, 3 o'clock Mass. We having the, um, uh, the Novena. And then after that, we shall be having our uh, um, Divine Mercy Holy Mass. Thank you so much. God bless you. Um, sleep well and pray. Jesus, Jesus, we have the victory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we have the victory. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. To to we will walk in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, we have the victory. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, we have the victory. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, we have the victory. 